Hello guys, my name is Milovan and today I'm going to show you how to do this Vox type of animations. And before we begin, huge shout out to the Vox YouTube channel who inspired this whole video. Okay, so first we need a few things. We need this screenshot, or any screenshot at all. We need the image in the PNG format. We need the logo from the website. And we need this paper texture, which you can find on YouTube for free. Okay, so first we need to drag and drop this on our timeline. After that, go in the effects and search for solid color and then drag and drop that. Change the color to any color of your liking. For example, I choose this one. After that, reduce the opacity in the settings tab under the composite mode. You should get something like this. Now we need to drag and drop our screenshot. After that, you need to go to the inspector tab and crop this image and be left with only the text. After that, go to the effects tab and search for Luma Keyer. After you found it, you need to drag and drop it onto our clip. You need to make sure that you have selected this open effects overlay option and afterwards you just need to click on this white surface and it will disappear. If you are not satisfied with this result, you can open up this menu and uh, change these values to your liking. Great, now we need to go to the video tab and zoom in a little bit and reposition uh, our text to our liking. Just like that. After that, we need to drag and drop this logo. Okay, so basically we want to do the same effect, just drag and drop the luma here and Click on the white surface. Okay, so now we want to go to the video tab, zoom out a little bit and adjust the position of this text. Then we want to copy this solid color by holding down the Alt key and drag and dropping the solid color on top of our clips. Then go to settings and set the opacity to 100. And of course change the color to black, why you'll see in a minute. Okay, so once more we want to crop this image, so we are left with fine black line. Something like this. But of course take your time so you can get the best results. Okay, that looks great. Now we need to drag and drop our PNG picture on top of all of our clips. And once again we want to reposition this image to fit our liking. Ok, so once again we need to copy this clip by holding down the ALT key and dragging it upwards. Then we right click on it and open up in the fusion page. Don't freak out, we only need one single node. Ok, now we press SHIFT plus SPACE on our keyboard and search for COLOR CORRECTION node and we need to change up these values. Play around, we need that dramatic black and white look. Yeah, that looks fine, but if we go to the edit page, we can see, oh, what have we done, right? <laughs> Don't worry, go back to the fusion page. And we need to check this single option. Now, if we go to the edit page, you could see that everything is perfectly fine. Now again go to the effects tab and search for color generator and drag and drop it on our clip. Now choose any color you like, I'll go with this orange and now we need to adjust the position of this image. Now you can see what we are doing here, we are making the shadow behind this PNG image. But of course take your time to adjust it if you need it. And then we need a text plus effect, drag and drop it on top and expand it a little bit. Here we want to type the date of this article, for example 28th of January, and of course choose a font. And we want to place it in the top, top left corner of our article. When we are done we need to go to the 
shading tab and check this option. I mean, yeah, it looks okay, but we can do better. Check this option and set the level to text. Now we're talking, that looks better. Once again, you can adjust the position if you need to. Now we want to animate these things. For example, we'll go to the second two and we'll place a keyframe on the position. After that, go to the frame zero and change the Y value. Now what we can do, we can press this button and find the position Y, click on the keyframe and smoothen it up. Something like this is way better. Now we want to right click on this clip, copy, and then right click on this clip and click on paste attributes. We need to make sure we check the position and click apply. Now we can see that the position of the logo is the same as the position of our text. But of course we will change that by clicking on the keyframe and then just changing up the X and Y value for the position. This already looks pretty good, right? Now let's animate this black line. Go to the second two, go to the settings and we need to change the crop right. We, firstly, we need to, uh, to put the keyframe, then go to the frame 0 and change the crop right value. We need to make sure that this line completely disappears. After that, we got something like this. A little bit better, but we'll fix that line a bit later. Again, click on this button and smooth up these keyframes. Now we need one more keyframe on the position and we need to paste the attributes again. Now we need to adjust the position by changing the values for the X and Y. And you should take your time on this one because it is important. Once you are satisfied, do the same for the second picture which is black and white. Now we'll fix this black line which has delay, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, see it soon enough, but better sooner or later. We simply need to check the keyframes and of course move them to the side a little bit more so, they start, uh, so the line starts a bit later. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, now we want to animate this red date. First, we need the keyframe on the position and we need keyframe at opacity. Go back to the first frame, change the position and change the opacity level. Now we got something like this, which is perfectly fine, but we can make it even smoother by uh, smoothing up these keyframes. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Really smooth. Great, okay, close this. And we can make it more dynamic by moving this single keyframe a bit to the right. So it starts a bit later. Yeah, that looks better. Now go to the effects tab and search for the adjustment clip, drag and drop it on top of our other clips. And then of course right click on it and open up in the fusion page. Ok, now it starts to be a little more complicated than before but it's still pretty easy. Shift plus space and add in a transform node. Pick your start point, for me it's going to be the frame 70.
then set a keyframe for the center and the size. Thirty frames forward on the frame one hundred, we need to use our transform node to uh, zoom in a little bit and, of course, change the y value so that the whole aspect ratio is fine. We want to zoom in as much as possible, but still keep an eye on that top limit. Then click on the spline tab, check the transform node, click select all and press S on your keyboard. Now, if you click letter T, you will see ease in and ease out, and we want to set the ease in uh, value to 100. Now we got this kind of like zoom in effect. And please don't forget, you can always change up these values if you think you can do better than that, just like me here. But please keep in mind, if you do change these values later, you again need to go into the spline tab, select all, press S, and then again ease in at 100. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, time for a new node, shift plus space, and type in blur. Press enter, and you have just added the blur node. Go back to the frame 70. Place a keyframe and set the value to 0. Then we go 30 frames in the future and place another keyframe again at the value 0. After that we go to the frame 85 and change the blur size to about 5-ish. And now as you can see we got this zoom in blur effect which looks pretty cool to me. Then after the blur node, we want to add the background node. Arrange this a little better so it looks better. Just like that and change the color. For example, I'll go with this like green yellow type. Then we need to add a rectangle mask. Now we need to change the height and the width of this mask so it perfectly matches the keywords we want to um, highlight. It could be a little tricky so take your time and make sure it's right centered. And of course in the apply mode select multiply. Now you can see it even better and you can make some adjustments if you need them. Now we want to copy this mask and paste it right beneath it. And again we need to set the paint mode to the multiply. Then at the frame 100 we want to place a keyframe. And of course move the center of this rectangle mask. Just like so. Then we move 20 frames forward and again change the X value in the position for this mask so it perfectly matches these words. Once again click on the rectangle mask, go to the spline tab, expand this a little bit, make sure only rectangle mask is selected, press view all, select all, then press S on your keyboard to smoothen it up and ease in at 100. Now our keyframes are much smoother. Ok, now we are close to done, we only need to go over a few more steps. Click on the background node, shift plus space and search for displace node. Now this selected, again shift plus space, we need to find the fast noise node, add it and connect it to the displace node. It should look something like that. Again, you can change these values for the rectangle mask if you see it doesn't fit really well, just like me. Then we select the fast noise and we change 
these parameters a little so we can get this like highlighter messy effect you'll see what i mean Now after our merge node, shift plus space, and we can add this flicker node. And right after it, we will add another displace node. Now we want to open our media pool on the top left, and we want to add this paper texture node inside and connect it to the displace node. Change the value to XY and change these parameters to your liking. And that's basically it, our animation like Vox is finished. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and of course leave a comment in the comment section down below, it helps the channel a lot. And of course, I really really appreciate it. My name was Milovan, and see you guys in the next DaVinci Resolve tutorial.